Hi guys, Glitter here. So today I'm here with a little bit of an update with the bot stuff I was talking about in the last World of Warcraft video. So if you didn't see that video, I recommend going to check it out. It's pretty short, but I'll give you the quick rundown. Uh, essentially, the past two days I've gutted a commercial botting software called W Robot. It's for Legion and also for private servers. Uh, it's not free. And what I've done is I've gutted it, ripped it out, decompiled it, and built a free bot on top of it. And the main focus is rotation bots. Now, I'm pretty anti-bot, um, but I also like to write code, so and this is fun to write, so that's why I'm doing it. But generally, I think bots are bad. Anyway, getting past that, let's just go ahead and hop into World of Warcraft and run this thing. The current UI is based on the W Robot Bot UI, except, as you'll see in a second, it is written in win forms instead of WPF, so it looks significantly shittier, but that's okay. It does it does it it does everything well enough. Okay, you see there we've got uh, it it finds clients just like uh, W Robot does. And we can go ahead and lo launch and hook to this client. We get a little simple thing that pops up with some tabs. There's nothing in the main tab yet. And so since the main focus, at least for now, is rotation botting, I've created a simple system similar to what you've seen in W Robot, except it uses assemblies instead of compiling code on demand. And so we're able to load assemblies in a combat folder. For example, I have only one in there called warlock.combat profile.testdll. Go ahead and select that, and we can actually toggle this box to start running the, com or the rotation bot. And you can see it's going to keep fell armor up, even if you try to debuff it. And if we get too low, it'll actually life tap, but not out of combat. Only in combat, so let's get in combat. See, it's life tapping, and now it's casting a shadow bolt. You can also disable it, and you'll stop your rotation bot. And you can also re enable it. Not that that's a significant feature, but just wanted to show you guys that you're able to do that. I think I'm gonna make a key bindable. There we go, we life tapped again. Go ahead and get out of combat. I'd like to make it so that you can switch in combat to different profiles. And on top of that, I have worked on a settings system that allows you to configure stuff. And you're able to configure it while the bot's running, so you can change settings without restarting it without while in combat. And that's working, I just don't have the UI and everything prepared for it and stuff. And I'm also working on integrating a behavior tree and a spell queue system so that you can do far more complex uh, rotation botting to the point where you're, you'll be emulating some semi-sophisticated AI which is a lot more useful for say battlegrounds especially if you maybe you were multi-boxing you could automate the positioning uh, behind get behind them walk over to them get behind them you know all different attacks uh, deal with interrupts against people who might be nearby or, or who aren't your target, stuff like that. And I'm going to also start working on a system so that several of the bots can actually communicate and sort of hand out tasks to each other. Maybe one of them will be the leader, and he can hand out a task and say, like, you know, if you've got the runes and if you've got the runic power and you're in range, please interrupt this person. Someone can claim the task and then do it. I think that's what, that's like a significant boost in at least multiboxing. Bringing it from, from uh, it's it's a, it's pretty significant, I think. You know, uh, just just like interrupt botting is significant. Being able to do that on multi boxing, nobody around you is going to be able to cast. I put as well. I don't want to give too much information because I might actually, for the first time ever, I might actually cheat in World of Warcraft, and I don't really want to give too much information about what I play or where I play because I'll be using this. But yeah, so this is exciting. I really like working on World of Warcraft stuff. I 
I am pretty anti-bot, but... You know, maybe this is warming me up to the idea. Mostly because it's interesting and fun to work on the software aspect. But that's all I've got for today. I'll keep you guys updated. This is going to be available at some point. I don't know if it's going to be free or if, or if it's or if I'm going to like charge like a dollar or two for something like this, provide profiles for it and everything. I don't know. We'll see. Um, probably free. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a free open source kind of guy. But with this sort of thing, I don't know. I don't want to hurt the games. I don't want to hurt all these servers too much. As far as I know, there aren't any decent uh, free bots. But, you know, I'm not a botter, so I don't know. Maybe there is. Now, I'm rambling, though. So, thanks for watching, and I'll keep you guys updated when more information is available. Thanks for watching, guys.